Welcome back to Practical Principles with Josh. Once again today, I'm walking around my neighborhood enjoying a beautiful Oklahoma day. And today I wanna to talk about something that I think we all can struggle with sometimes, and that's having those difficult conversations. And for me, I mean, I, just like you probably, I just don't enjoy them, right? It's like I put them off, I struggle with them, they can come across awkward, and we all, I believe, struggle with difficult conversations. One of the things that I've learned that has helped me, and I think it just comes with having enough difficult conversations, but it's, it's thinking about the outcome. It's thinking about where that difficult conversation could take a relationship. So I don't enjoy difficult conversations, but I do enjoy the outcome of difficult conversations. And so I think that's the thing to focus on when you're you know, putting off that conversation is think about the possibility of the relationship getting stronger. One of my friends and mentors told me recently, sometimes you have to sacrifice or risk, not sacrifice, risk the relationship for the relationship. And I thought that was really wise and Honestly, I took that advice recently from him and it didn't turn out as good as I hoped for, but ultimately I found out what the relationship was. So I risked the relationship for the relationship and I found out the relationship wasn't as strong as I thought it was. And so when we have those difficult conversations, the outcome maybe isn't what we hope for, but it is helpful and it is valuable to have those difficult conversations. And for me now, now that I know that on the other side of those difficult conversations is an opportunity to strengthen a relationship or go ahead and put to rest a relationship that doesn't need to continue on, then that allowed me and has freed me to have more of those difficult conversations. Maybe it's at work where you feel like you are not being valued quite as much as you would like to be, and but you're a little bit nervous to have that conversation with your boss or your coworkers. Well, in this case, think about the value of having that conversation. Think about the idea that maybe by having that conversation, you could free yourself because you know you need to say it, but it's also the potential of everyone understanding you better and truly valuing you and maybe something like a raise could come from that. So you have to think about the potential value that comes from a difficult conversation and then that conversation will not be easy. I'm not saying that, but it will be easier and you'll be willing to have the conversation because you know the potential value from having the difficult conversation. So that's just something I've learned and I'm still learning is that I've put off enough difficult conversations to know that putting it off isn't helpful, but actually having the conversation is. And so I just want to encourage you, maybe if you've been putting off a conversation that you know you need to have, that on the other side of having that conversation, you might see a lot of opportunity, a lot of potential good, or maybe it doesn't turn out like you thought and you can kind of stop putting energy into that relationship or into that job if you just know like these people don't get it like I get it, they don't see it the way I see it, they don't value what I value. And so either way, it's a good thing. So hopefully this has encouraged you, maybe you know, think about it for yourself, but then obviously share it with a friend that might uh, be able to use these encouraging words. And hopefully this has uh, helped you throughout your day. And once again, I'm always here just to try to encourage you and to give you some practical wisdom, some practical tips for your day and uh, just walking around here in my neighborhood. So hopefully you guys have a great day and we'll talk soon.